Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kara Sundlin. The number of confirmed cases of the coronavirus has now risen. Officials say a sixth person has become sick with the virus. The latest confirmed case is a person from Westport. Officials say this person tested positive for COVID-19 last night. This comes after two coronavirus cases were confirmed yesterday, and that includes a child from Stratford. Again, that brings the total to six confirmed cases in Connecticut. Senators Richard Blumenthal and Chris Murphy are blasting the president and the Trump administration on what they say is a failure to respond quickly enough. They say President Trump has downplayed the coronavirus, and because of that, there have been delays in getting kits for testing as well as federal funding and resources. They say there are no specific guidelines to help states handle the virus. At this point, the state is getting $7 million in federal funding and more than 500,000 face masks. The number of schools closing their doors this afternoon continues to climb in the efforts to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Bloomfield, Bristol, they're now joining the list of closures. Also, New Britain schools will shut their doors this afternoon. You'll be able to find a full list of closures on the bottom of the screen or on our Channel 3 app. Colleges and universities remain shut with students completing courses online. Western Connecticut State University announces, announced this morning that all athletic events have been canceled. And adding to the list starting tomorrow, the Connecticut Science Center is going to be closing for two weeks. And as we head into the weekend, conditions will be improving. In fact, before today is over, the rain and gloomy conditions that we have will give way to clearing. Temperatures will trend briefly mild. We'll reach or exceed the 60 degree mark today. The wind picks up and then tomorrow it's going to be windy, partly to mostly sunny. Temps back in the low 50s, still above the average high, which is in the mid 40s. Sunday, mostly sunny, breezy, so not as windy as Saturday, but cooler highs, mid 40s. Monday features dry weather. It's going to be cool, low 40s. Then for St. Patrick's Day, it could see a little uh, snowflake action with some rain early in the morning. Then it's all over to rain showers and then Wednesday, Thursday of next week. We're trending milder again from the 50s back to 60, perhaps higher than that for shoreline highs this weekend. 55 on Saturday, 48 on Sunday. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.